farm and I saw the bat wing sitting next to the driveway. Um, I stopped on my way down, looked at it real quick. I was figuring on greasing it anyway. I noticed the leaky gear gearbox is dry. So I'm trying to race the rain that's coming and the fact that it's late and I don't want to be here in the dark. I figured I'd take the handiest set of wheels out there, the new RTV. Jumped in it, cranked and cranked and cranked and it won't start, which I noticed it had been cranking a lot before. So the reason it's not starting this time anyway is the stop solenoid, which is right here. When you turn the key off, it energizes this electromagnet in there, pulls this lever back, and that's what shuts off the fuel. Um, because if you notice, um, when you turn it off and then you walk away, a couple seconds later you'll hear, hear a click, and that's this actually releasing. So when the motor's off and just sitting there, it's actually, in terms of fuel, it's on. Um, this just pulls this plunger in, which turns this and shuts off the fuel inside. And it's stuck back. It's stuck in the off position right now. Oh, there. See, it jumped out that little bit. You can watch the bellows. It was stuck there. And it popped out. So now it'll start. Um, and it's just, there's a spring in there. I guess it's getting a little weak. Or everything's, everything's dirty. Uh, I'm not even 100% sure. Okay, so there's there's a spring down here. Yeah, you can't see it. It's like a clock spring. Um, I'm kind of thinking about putting another spring going from here to somewhere to help it out. I mean, really, it should have the solenoid replaced because the odds are it's going to stop working completely. Um, but in the meantime, if this thing cranks and cranks and cranks, doesn't start, come out pull this make sure that this rod is fully extended and you don't have to beat on it it's it's a precise instrument but make sure that it's fully extended and then it should start and then on the other hand when the solenoid finally dies and the machine's running and you can't make it stop because it's not pulling this lever in like it's supposed to with the key come out here and see the, the screw is a nice easy place to grab it if you push it that way it should kill the motor for now I really want to get working on that tractor before it rains and gets dark, so I'm just going to run it like this and deal with it later.